to open the bounty hunters and welcome back. Today we are hunting the Scrimble Brothers. So for this hunt the videos are going to be a bit more different because the Scrindle Bros don't act like the previous bosses. Like for the previous bosses each time you finish the level basically and you get to the boss. For the Scrindle Bros it's not like that. It's three bros scattered and then a spoiler I guess that I won't mention. And then you have to fight that spoiler as well. So this is gonna be a multi-part hunt. I think they like being enslaved. Don't really care, but just to be polite, where are they? They're working at Scrindle Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful, that place is freaky. Cool, again, don't really care. What's up? This is the first level that you get to try out your this new lock toy, lock. Uh, jetpack. Alright, time to put that jetpack to good use. Oh, I love this. Nice. We're really flying, huh? Really cool stuff, Bounty Hunter. Like, we're flying. Okay, this definitely must be the right way because, you know, we, 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 uh, we, we haven't gone this way yet, you know? Try to get it there. I have an issue with Gus. He's designated as gun number two, and I keep... Picking gun number two as if it's easy, and Gus is number three, but I uh, guess that's what happens when you fight boss number three before, before boss number two. Fucking little freaks! How's it been going so far? I also forget how much I hate Gus, like, he's an extremely disappointing shotgun. Bugs were trying to build the robots, and that's why they kept killing themselves. Maybe. Good, 
Okay, so this is a little puzzle for the uh, luck box. I mean, it's not a puzzle, it's baby stuff, but you know. Oh, we should check out the luck box. Just one sec. All right, enough of this. We're, we're opening the door ourselves. Oh, yeah, here's the this loop. slingshot can change direction based on some buttons that we're gonna press in a moment. Don't forget, you know, you, you can use those to launch yourself. Starting from now, we have an enemy type, snipers. You can guesstimate their place by checking where the laser is coming from and following it. As you can see, there is a laser coming from I'll the right honest, side, really that means there is a sniper in there. So you finally need me again, huh? I actually did this by accident, I didn't know that it will fall off, I just decided to fly in here. Here I couldn't touch it, also Fuck, unfortunately the respawn in the area that I wanted to spawn in trick didn't work oh, so yeah. I had to manually do it by attempting several other times. I mean, like I, I know a little bit. I mean, I, I, I heard a bit, so, so I kind of know. But I, I'm just making small talk right now. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to feel the dead air. It's really uncomfortable. I mean, don't get mad at me if what I'm saying isn't that interesting, because you know, I'm, I'm doing my best here. You know.
Hello, and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. You gotta be kidding me. It's fucking Helen. <laughs> What's up? Oh, you're the bounty hunter who stepped up and took charge in the office and killed my boss, Krubus. Very unorthodox leadership style, but you got results. Anyway, sorry, I need to let the G3 know you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. Feel free to have some candy. <laughs> you're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming to us. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Elevator's on, enemies coming. You win some, you lose some. Hello again, the good back, baby. I love the comments from all the guns here. This sequence of comments is actually pretty funny. Inside the wall. We've got this. All right, here we are. Get the intruder. Don't let them find the test subject. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, that's right. We're trespassing. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be too hard on Gus because he has this suck thing and it works. This place, you know, see what kind of experiments they're doing here. Ow. 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 Sheesh, whoever works here really needs to get their shit together. What a mess! Hello, Jonathan. It's Dr. Gurgula. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. Coming next, my favorite gun in this game. Oh god, are those Gatlians? I think I'm gonna be sick. Wait, I think that one's alive. 
The bad guys did experiments on me and fucked me up real bad in basically every way you can imagine. Holy shit, am I glad to see another cat laying alive in here? Uh, are there any others? Oh my god, yes! There's so many! Oh, but unless you've been alive, then no! These fucking G3 bastards! Creature, we're taking on the cartel! You want in? Oh, no, no, no. They take good care of me. Holding me against my will, cutting me open, doing experiments on me. Okay, you know what? Say it out loud. I think they might actually be bad. I'm part of your team now. Hell yeah! Welcome aboard, a uh, creature. That 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 that's your name? I guess so. Oh hey, we're locked in. But that's fine. Don't freak out or anything. I can give birth to a bunch of little freaks, and they can disable the door lock. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's ah, beautiful! Look how one of my little fuckers just saved us! Being a dad is the best feeling in the world. Then a few seconds later, when your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling actually, but I'm numb to it. Fuck this shit. Oh yeah, that's one of my children! They died fast! Don't worry, it's easy to make more, and it feels good! God, I love them so much! So, creatures' attacks so are different. He died. doesn't deal damage, not in the Do traditional sense. What he does is shoot his kids, and those kids stick onto an enemy, and they keep munching on that enemy, and then they just drop off and move on to the next enemy nearest to them. Or, if you aim at another enemy, they will latch on to that enemy instead. They also work on bosses and that makes creature extremely powerful. You don't need to aim good, you just aim somewhere near the boss and the kids will latch on to that boss. Assuming they can reach him of course. I'm starting to think of the dark guy. Alright, we're in! How was that? Was that helpful? Was it helpful that I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? Hey, is this gonna hurt? Is this gonna hurt getting a weapon grafted to my arm? You're gonna graft a Gatlian to my arm, and that's gonna be permanent? Is that right? Because. I'm, I'm obviously down to do it, I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot and that I'm also gonna regret not being able to use my hand in the normal way. Can you do my right arm? I'm left-handed, so if you do my right arm, I'll still be able to write? Oh, you know what I'm thinking though? It's actually gonna be a problem because I, I'm left-handed, so I, I shoot with my left hand. So if you do my right arm, I might not be able to shoot as well. This is bad. This is probably... Okay, let me just let me think. Let me think. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through with this this way. Uh, maybe maybe I could just work the desk. I don't have to be a shooting guy, you know. I can just I can just be the desk guy. I can type stuff in. Um, I can I can uh, coordinate all of our battles. That'll be great. I can I know Excel. I can do Excel stuff. I know formulas in Excel. So let me just do that instead of grafting a, a weapon to my arm. It's gonna because I can see you did it earlier to to, to to Jamie and and Jamie was screaming a lot when you did it. And you said it wouldn't hurt at all, but he was screaming so much, it like freaked me out a lot. So, okay, you know what? I can tell I need to do this. I gotta go through with this. I can tell you're all judging me for, for being a coward. And I said I would do it. I'm not gonna back down. I can do it. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's get this Gatlian grafted to my arm. Oh, fuck, this is gonna hurt so bad. This is gonna hurt so fucking bad. Let me, no, let me just, let me just, let me just, and I can fight too.
sticking zombified Gatlians onto mercs in here? Oh, holy shit! No! Holy shit, you killed everyone? Wow, you are strong. Good thing I'm safe behind this glass. Oh! Use one of my kids to fuck with that guy's mind. He'll go into a frenzy. Did I tell you they can do that? They can do that. The mind control attack is something you can also use against bosses. It doesn't mind control them, but um, not in the way it does for the regular enemies. But it's basically a stun that deals a bit of damage. They do not listen. Fuck you, G3! Hey, Brian, how you doing? You think I'm gonna answer your questions? <laughs> I would so show you right now if I weren't distracted from this operating table. That guy used to do especially bad experiments on me. I think. What the hell, man? Dude couldn't even defend himself! Sorry. Well, not really. I think I earned the right to fight back by getting tortured and experimented on so much. guys we just killed and I can promise you they were all a hundred percent evil wow they usually put me in an airtight crate whenever they take me outside I really liked it look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive isn't that cute I'm so proud of him this is fun do you do this sort of stuff all the time bounty hunter These guys rule! I know they're annoying and we gotta kill him, but they fucking rule! Another way to die! Not being sarcastic, by the way. I'm trying to talk normal. When you use your secondary, it allows you to aim your hits properly. That was close. Well, the downside for creature is that he doesn't deal traditional damage, so in ah, fights like this, temper. he doesn't do well. He's better off if you're sniping away the enemy. Ah. I don't want to be pushy or anything, but maybe try my glove shot every now and again, you know? They can beat us. Hey, we should try using Clug's device to save those humans, right? Help us, please. Oh, cool. 
We rescued some. Hey, what do you call Cubos? You're a very good looking Cubo. Let's save your people. Big three little Cubos. And that will be the end of part one of the hunt for the Scramble Dwellers, since the first boss fight is upcoming next. See ya!